Today's home workout with your qualified trainer, Lucy Wyndham Reid, is a seven minute belly fat workout. So as a trainer, I know how important it is that we look after our health. So this is about health, it's not about how we look. This isn't about getting a six pack, this is about helping to reduce excess of belly fat that we refer to as visceral fat because this is what sits around our organs so this is simply us just going we are going to take control of our health so it's seven minutes all these moves are really designed to help reduce belly fat in the video i'm also going to be giving you lots of other tips along the way because we want to take control of our health we want to feel amazing so what i would say if you haven't already done a warm-up do my warm-up video on youtube and when you're ready i'm ready to start working out with you at home today so here's a preview of the first move standing nice and straight we're simply going to be doing knee raises and you're going to be drawing both your arms down and this one here is a really lovely cardio core move so arms up and let's go for it so 50 seconds now the timer bar on the right that represents the duration for this exercise so just keep focused on what you're doing think about what you are doing right now as you are investing in your future health we're really taking control and also the tip that I wanted to give you for this one is focus on healthy eating healthy eating is so important to nourish our bodies and it also really helps if you're looking to reduce visceral belly fat all right so let's just keep that focus well over halfway upper body stays nice and straight and the faster you do this and we're really taking that to a good cardio move keeping that going that's good last little bit nice control just make sure that foot lands nice and softly drawing that up keeping those core tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight for me and we are nearly done all right so you just follow me on the right just do those little toe taps or just have a look at the next move we've got 10 seconds recovery so for this one it's if you're about to run and we're going to do it on one leg for 25 seconds and change to the other so let's get ready come into position foot behind now drive that knee up and really keep those core muscles pulled in as tight as you can that's good that's going to really strengthen through those abdominals driving it up sprint through with those arms nice control so this one here again is a great cardio move plus we're really focusing on strengthening through that core section as well keeping that going change legs now take that to the opposite leg so this is move two and tip two is simply look at portions and instead of falling for clever marketing, encouraging us to take bigger portions, buy more, whereas actually let's just go back to basics. Let's just focus on small portions or more importantly, the right size portions. Just keeping that going, nearly done on that one. Okay, so let's have a look at move number three. So for this one, we're gonna be doing standing straight leg kicks. So the key thing with this is keep that upper body nice and straight. Just kick that leg as high up as you can. Doesn't matter if you can't get it as high, but actually what you will notice the more you do this, the more you increase your flexibility. So it's just a straight leg kick aiming to take the opposite hand over towards the opposite foot. So again, this one is a great cardio core move and nice control so this is move three tip three is simply focus on getting good quality sleep sleep is really essential when we're looking at leading that healthy lifestyle so seven to eight hours and during the week always they say if you can be in bed for half ten it's perfect all right just keeping that going nice control so we're well over halfway on this move keep that upper body nice and straight feel that working through those core muscles as you kick that leg up but we're still also working lots of muscle groups here that's how we're increasing the calorie burn last little bit let's go for two more Okay, so let's have a look at move number four. So for this one, we're gonna be doing four power punches and then four knee drives. A really lovely move, this one. So we're gonna get ready. Let's come into position. Now what I need you to do is step nice and wide for me. Have your knees slightly bent, tummy is tight. Now give me those four power punches and then four of those knees. So again, you can see that timer bar there on the right. That represents your 50 seconds, just keeping that going. So tip 
number four is a really simple one. Just look at cutting back on sugar and processed food, junk food. Um, I always say the 80-20 rule is really good. You know, 80% of the time make healthy choices, 20% of the time have a little bit of what you fancy, but just really be aware and if you can cut back. All right, that's good. Let's just keep going. Doing really well, well over halfway on this move and driving that up. Definitely come and find me on Facebook. So I've got really lovely online community, everyone on the same journey. All right, that's good. Give me those power punches and drive those knees up. Last little bit and four to finish. All right, well done. Let's have a look at your next move. So for this one, we're going to be really working through the waist. So we're going to stand again with feet slightly wider than shoulder width distance apart. And we're just going to go for doing three side bends either side. So we're going to come into position, reach it across for three, come back to the center and now take it over to the opposite side. Key thing with this, make sure your knees are slightly bent for me, make sure those core muscles are fully engaged and keep alternating from one side to the other. So um, tip five is simply aim, if you can always, to get your step count up every day. Um, a good rule of thumb is to try and get between eight to 10,000 steps. And that could be um, just even going out, having a little walk around the shops, or it could be doing a power walk, or it could be doing any of my indoor free walking workouts. All right, so let's just keep going from one side to the other, really feel that through the waist, nice control, keep those knees slightly bent. And we've nearly finished, so we've only got two more moves after this. So nice control, keep that focus. So let's have a look. Move six, a really lovely one. This is what I call skater's lunge, but we're gonna add these big arms on here. So just get used to the move. If you haven't done it with the arms before, just start working the legs and bring the arms in when you're ready. So you step that foot across and behind. You can add a little jump or you can take the jump out, but really lift those arms up and over. So this way here, we are working every single muscle. So this is a really good example of what I call a MCM move. That means a multi-compound moves and these are real high calorie burners. All right, that's good. But also you're gonna feel that through the waist. So you are engaging your core strength and stability with this move as well. So keeping that going. So this is move six, nearly finished today. So let's just keep going. We are nearly completed a seven minute belly fat workout and we are gonna get strong and healthy. So last little bit, keeping that focused and remember we're here because we're doing this for our health. So move seven, I'm actually gonna show you two options. If you don't wanna do this as a jumping move, I'm gonna show you a low impact, but basically we're gonna do two where we take the arms in front and then two where we take them out to the side. So let's get ready, go left if you don't want the jump and do double arms and then you just do half a star. So tip seven is the most important really, I think, and this is about consistency. Consistency is key. You know, if you wanna be healthy and feel your best, it's about making healthy lifestyle choices all the time. And the great thing is with this workout, I'm gonna challenge you to do it as a seven minute workout that you do for seven days and stick with all these seven tips and I promise you, you are gonna feel amazing. All right, that's good. So let's just keep going. Last little bit, keeping that focused. And you can see that timer bar. You have nearly completed this seven minute workout. Last little bit. And well done. So that is the workout complete. So well done, there is your high five. What I'd like you to do for me, just carry on marching just until that timer up there stops, just so I can get your heart rate back down and really well done with today. What you have done, you've taken control of your future health. So if you liked today's video, do give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments down below. And remember, you can download the training guide that goes with this and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow. And don't forget, come and do your cool down stretch with me now.